Months ago, when Liv Morgan and Lana's story first came onto television, we said that we would follow up on it a few months later to see how it turned out and review it. Initial thoughts on the Liv Morgan and Lana story is quite simple. It was a massive disappointment with so much potential and story left on the table. Liv's return was by no means wasted, but the story in general was a waste of time and had no real impact at all to either Liv or Lana's character and story arc. When the story first made its appearance, reports online were really hyping up the story. It was even reported that the Liv and Lana story was planned out several weeks ahead, but just telling by what we were given on Raw, it just doesn't look like any of that was true at all. The Liv and Lana storyline was missing one important thing, and that was some actual story being behind the whole thing. The story started off strong, with Liv announcing that she was in love with Lana, and Lana was quick to turn her down. That was a great start to the story, but then nothing at all was ever added to the story after that first day. It's just such a shame that WWE didn't do anything with all that potential and hype of Liv Morgan's big return story. Reports claim that the story wasn't taken that serious and was just dropped out of nowhere because of Lana not being a serious in-ring competitor. Lana is great in a speaking manager sort of role, but pure wrestling isn't exactly her best ability. So WWE reportedly wanted Liv to face someone that would really bring the best out of her during a match, and that just couldn't happen with Lana's limited skill set in the ring. Even though that may be true, there was just still so much potential to tell a good story and get viewers engaged without an actual in-depth one-on-one match between Liv and Lana. Lana recently addressed the storyline on her YouTube channel and had a lot to say about it, which would have been some great material if she was allowed to say this on TV. Lana said they were close friends, she loved Liv, and was always there for her when no one else was, and they just had such a close bond. Lana said her and Liv were alike in a lot of ways, and that's what made them grow so close. Lana also called out critics for saying the storyline was also used as clickbait and a shock factor. Lana gave Liv credit for building that courage to walk out there and speak her truth. She also said that the things she was seeing online about Liv was so cruel, with so many people judging Liv because she wasn't straight. She also said that there was a part of her that was proud of Liv going out there, but Lana was still upset that Liv waited that long to come out to her, and feels like she could have done it a long time before the wedding. Lana then goes on to say that Liv is everything she is today because of Lana, and that she allowed her to win on Raw on purpose. So that was a summary of Lana's video, and it was very interesting and gave us some backstory to the relationship that WWE never gave us on television. So with today's storyline concept, we'll be revisiting the Lana and Liv Morgan storyline and adding just a few things that I think would have improved it just a bit and told a more engaging story. So after Lana turned down Liv at the wedding, Liv went onto Twitter and showed all of the pictures that she had of herself and Lana together. Now, the following week on Raw, Lana and Bobby Lashley would come out to clear up all the questions from the wedding and Lana would make it clear that Liv was just a close friend that got too obsessed with her, but that they never were a thing. Out comes Liv Morgan on the entrance ramp with a real evil smirk on her face, as if she had something that would say otherwise about their former relationship. Liv talks to Lana and points to the big screen, asking Lana if she remembers this night. We turn our attention to the screen, and it looks like we can see a video of Liv and Lana talking in a hotel room from what seems to be a camera that Liv had set up in the room. We hear what seems to be Lana pouring out her feelings for Liv and saying how much she appreciated her and how Liv was always there for her. Lana holds Liv's hand and the video feed pauses and the crowd reacts. We cut back to Liv Morgan laughing, knowing that everyone will believe her now that she got this legitimate piece of evidence. Well, Lana, on the other hand, is in the ring just furious, and her face being fully red with embarrassment. Liv gets back on the mic and tells Lana that she'll reveal the rest of the footage all in due time, and that Lana should start treating her better if she doesn't want that to get out. 
Now, this idea actually comes from what WWE attempted to do with Aiden English and Lana during the Rusev Day breakup, where he had some recorded footage of Lana. It puts our babyface Liv Morgan in a powerful position by having this video footage, while the heel, Lana, is in the more vulnerable role, trying to stop Liv from showing the footage and audio. This will really get viewers interested to know what happened in that clip, what was said, and why Lana doesn't want anyone to see it. Lana tries to comply with everything Liv is asking for in order to stop the footage from getting out. But in the end, Liv just releases it anyway to destroy Lana. So let's get to the footage. What actually happens in it? Liv plays the full version and we can hear Lana heavily dissing Bobby Lashley and how she much rather be with someone else. That's what it looks like Lana tries to make a move on Liv. But Liv stops her and it isn't quite sure of everything that is going on in the moment and the clip ends. This causes Bobby Lashley to break up with Lana and put an end to their relationship after he lashes out. Now the roles are reversed. Lana is the heartbroken and upset one, while Liv is in full control of the situation. This leads to their one-on-one -on -one matches, which Liv still easily wins. But when Lana realizes that she's just no match for Liv in the ring, Lana decides to find someone else who has a better chance of defeating Liv and becomes their manager. Now the superstar that Lana manages can really be anyone, but this is just a good way to give Liv some new opponents while still continuing her overall story with Lana. And that about concludes this concept for how Liv Morgan and Lana could have played out. As always, let us know what you like about the concept and what you would change about it. Leave your comments, don't forget to subscribe, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.